हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स टिल प्रीवियस वीडियोज़ वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एंड ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड द एन बी एफ सी टॉपिक ओके नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंस कंपनीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक इन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स बट बिफोर दैट लेट एस फर्स्ट रिफ्रेश आवर कॉन्सेप्ट ओके वील डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ रिविजन ऑफ वॉट वी सॉ इन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स सो फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ मार्केट्स सो वन इज वेयर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर शॉर्ट टर्म ओके एंड अनदर इज वेयर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर लॉन्ग टर्म ओके सो द शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज मनी मार्केट्स हियर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर लेस दैन वन ईयर मेचोरिटी वेर एज इफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर मोर दैन और इक्वल टू वन ईयर मेचोरिटी दैन दे आर नोन एज द लॉन्ग टर्म इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दीज लॉन्ग टर्म इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज कैपिटल मार्केट्स ओके द मार्केट वेयर लॉन्ग टर्म इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर ट्रेडेड आर नोन एज कैपिटल मार्केट्स इन कैपिटल मार्केट्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स वन इज डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड अदर वन इज इक्विटी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो दिस इज जस्ट द बेसिक दैट वी आर कवरिंग अगेन देन वी हैड ऑल्सो सीन द इंस्टीट्यूशंस विच आर वर्किंग इन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स विच आर नोन एज फाइनेंशियल इंटरमीडियरीज right so one type of financial intermediaries is the banks which we have already covered in the previous lessons and another type of financial intermediaries are non banking financial institutions which are again of three types all india financial institutions primary dealers and nbfcs so we have covered all this uh, till now this one as well as banks and also the money market now we will start the new topic which is the capital market which is the most important one which is you know going to take some time to cover but it is very important to understand okay so uh, please uh, watch all the videos of this particular lesson so initially now let us first focus on this uh, debt markets equity market will will uh, start after a few videos so let us begin the capital markets okay which are the long term instruments okay in capital markets again i am repeating there are debt instruments and equity instruments the basic difference between debt and equity is that in debt there is a repayment obligation because debt is a kind of loan that you take from the people okay it is a kind of loan and there is a repayment obligation for both the principal amount as well as the interest that you have promised for example you take a debt of 10000 rupees okay and you are supposed to pay uh, interest of 10% over it for one year then after one year you are supposed to pay the principal of 10000 plus 10% uh, interest which is 1000 rupees so you are obligated to pay uh, when you know you are dealing with debt instruments whereas the equity investments equity instruments there is no obligation to repay okay uh it doesn't mean that the company or the issuer of equity security you know doesn't have to repay but there is no ab- obligation as such okay we'll see why when we start studying equity in the previous videos i have already uh, explained to you the difference between debt and equity right in debt it is a kind of loan that you give to the issuer in equity you again give the money to the issuer of equity security but you become a kind of partner with that person okay with the issuer whatever is the percentage holding that you have so of that much percentage you become a partner in that company so that is the simple meaning of equity let us focus on debt first okay we will discuss the debt first now debt instruments it is a very very interesting topic so stay connected okay uh, so debt capital ओके डेट कैपिटल इन हिंदी वी कॉल इट कर्ज ओके डेट को हम हिंदी में कर्ज बोलते हैं सो इट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ लोन दैट यू टेक फ्रॉम द पीपल सो द लोन कैन बी ऑफ फोर टाइप्स ओके यू कैन ऑप्टेन लोन इन द फॉलोइंग फोर वेज सो द फर्स्ट वन इज द टर्म लोन्स विच यू टेक फ्रॉम द बैंक सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू बिजनेस यू अप्रोच अ बैंक एंड यू हैव सम कोलेट्रल ओके यू हैव सम लैंड और सम बिल्डिंग और एनी अदर कोलेट्रल लाइक गोल्ड और एनीथिंग you go to a bank you say that i want to start this business and i need to take a loan of 50 lakh rupees so the bank will give you a loan of 50 lakh rupees and it will be a term loan term loan meaning you have to repay this loan back 
in fixed installments uh, you know in in a given number of years for example if it is a 20 years loan so you have to repay it back in 20 years so this is that is known as term loans then there is another kind of instrument which are known as debentures okay so debentures are the uh, securities which are issued by uh, the company or the gov uh, any corporate to the general public so instead of going to the banks now these companies go to the general public and take money from the general public so public like people like you and me will invest into this debentures of the company so in that way company will get money and after the maturity period the public will get their money back along with the interest similarly there are bonds okay bonds and debentures are more or less same we will see the difference between them in a very short while bonds are also issued to the general public okay so again it is a kind of uh, a security which uh, which enables an issuer or a company or also a government to take money from the general public okay for any purpose it can be any development purpose it can be any investment purpose and then there is a fourth kind of way in which you can obtain loan it is a external commercial borrowings okay so external commercial borrowing meaning you take loan from from outside india okay from outside india and that too from from some bank or nbfc okay you obtain a loan from some bank or nbfc abroad so basically these loans are denominated in foreign currency for example there they will be dollar loans or pound loans okay or euro loans this kind of thing they are not denominated in rupees so that is known as external commercial borrowings now let us understand so term loans and external commercial borrowings okay uh, we don't need to discuss them at length but we will discuss debentures and bonds okay external commercial borrowings we will discuss when we start another topic another lesson uh, balance of payment and foreign trade and uh, you know foreign international finance so let us now first focus on debentures and uh, bonds okay what is the difference between debentures and bonds so as i have already told you they are you know almost the same thing okay almost the same thing but there is a little bit difference in terminology so let us look at the history of these terms so basically debentures was used in britain okay in uh, in london market so debenture was a word used for long term loan secured against an asset okay so if there is a company okay if there is a company it is issuing some bonds or some kind of security to general public okay to general public and in a way it is obtaining loan from general public and this loan is secured against some asset so for example this company has some land or some machinery some any infrastructure any anything which can be which can act as a collateral which is a uh, so basically this loan is a secured loan okay so in britain they were called as secured loan okay debentures were secured loan but in usa debentures are the loans which are unsecured okay it is just the difference between the terminologies so in usa unsecured loans are called as debentures whereas in britain the secured loans are called as debentures okay so they are unsecured loan certificate by a company in usa basically both are loans but in britain the secured loans are called as debentures in usa unsecured loans are called as debentures now what do we do in india okay because we have to study about india so in india we go by the usa definition okay in india also debentures means that it is a debt financial instrument not secured by physical assets okay so we go by the usa definition and therefore they are riskier than bonds see bonds are secured okay secured by assets whereas debentures debentures are not secured by assets so this is the definition by which uh, we go in india okay uh, sometimes the bonds are also not secured by assets but then they have the sovereign guarantee when they are issued by the national government or state government okay so this is not a very strict definition but just try to understand that debentures are the ones which are little bit riskier they are not secured by assets they are issued by private companies whereas bonds are secured by assets either because they are issued by the sovereign government 
or they are issued by big corporates which have you know a lot of means to repay back the loan so this is the, the basic difference now what are bonds bonds are the debt financial instruments see they are the debt financial instruments issued by large corporations or government agencies okay debentures are only issued by private companies by only private companies so whatever the government issues the debt security that the government issues they will never be called debentures they will always be called bonds okay so bonds are issued by government as well as the large corporations large corporations like you know very large like tata reliance so very big companies they will issue bonds they are usually le less riskier they are longer tenure and lesser rate of return see there is always a rule in finance you have to remember higher the risk higher the return okay this you have to always keep in mind so if there is less risk there will be less return less return meaning less rate of interest return meaning rate of interest the return that you get on investment and bonds always get the first first priority for repayment during liquidation so for example if there is a company say for example tata company so one of the uh, you know uh, enterprises of tata suppose for example it failed in its business now it is uh, you know under liquidation so the company so the you know owner of the company they just want to sell this uh, stop this business and they want to sell all their assets and give back their uh, money so for example if this tata enterprise it had taken so it had the overall investment of say uh, total rupees say 100 crores okay now out of this 100 crores suppose 20 crores was their own capital okay 20 crore was their own capital then another 50 crores was taken in the form of uh, equity okay equity issued so basically equity meaning shares so they had issued shares to the common public people had subscribed to it and another remaining 30 crores they were taken in the form of bonds okay they were taken in the form of bonds again issued to the common public now when the tata is you know under liquidation they are selling off their company they are selling all their assets and they want to pay back the money for example when they are where they are paying back they are not getting the entire 100 crore rupees okay they are not getting the entire 100 crore rupees now they are able to obtain only say 70 crores okay they are only getting 70 crores now this 70 crores now will first be given to bondholders so out of the 70 crores 30 crores will be paid back to the bondholders remaining 40 out of this 40 crore now this 40 crore will then be issued to the equity holders okay so although it was 50 crore but only 40 crore can be written rest 10 crore will not be returned so the first priority is always given to the bond holders okay they are the most secured loans and this 20 crore was anyway the own capital okay so it is also a kind of equity okay it is also kind of equity this is known as private equity so it was their own capital meaning it was also equity it was their private equity so priority is given to bonds first then debentures and then equity okay so this you have to remember whenever it is the time for repayment during liquidation first priority will always be given to bonds then debentures and then equity so i hope you have understood this basics of debt financial markets now we are going to dive deeper into this and we will learn about different kind of debt instruments thank you